Why Hedge? We're here with Jim Fink, who's going to tell us not only why to hedge, but strategies for hedging. Hi, Greg. Nice to see you. Um, I think the reason to hedge is because the market is traditionally very overvalued at the current time. You know, you see a lot of people here at these money shows talking about market timing and trying to pick the absolute tops and bottoms. I don't play that game. I don't think anyone can play that game. But what I do believe you can do is look at history, look at the general valuation levels of the market. If they're very overvalued on a historical basis, I think you should take a look at hedging as something important to do without a market timing component. And when you're not using a marketing timing, timing component, what are you using then? Well, I think the two best ways to hedge right now are to use S&P 500 put options and uh, VIX call options. Uh, the VIX is the um, implied volatility index on the S&P 500 options. So that if the stock market goes down, the VIX traditionally goes up, so you would want to buy VIX call options. So you're going long volatility. Long volatility. To hedge your portfolio. Right. Okay. Stocks go down, volatility goes up generally. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is you can buy put options on the S&P 500 directly. So uh, when obviously when stocks go down, put options go up in value. And are there any other strategies? I know that uh, sometimes in, in bear markets or at least stagnant markets, you know, you can use spreads, for example, to derive some income off of stocks that might not be moving. Are, are you anticipating a market where we're going to see some increased dynamics, where maybe the VIX does increase or, you know, that the S&P will return to the mean or? Right. I mean, you can use VIX calls and SPX puts to um, guard against an increase in volatility. Once volatility has increased in value, then you would start looking at selling options, selling covered calls uh, to uh, hedge a long stock portfolio, because when you're selling calls, that brings in extra income for your portfolio. Uh, you could also, if you don't already own stocks, you can just sell puts as, as a way to um, enter a stock position at a, at a lower price than what is currently in the marketplace. Both the selling cover calls and selling puts are best done when volatility is high so that the premiums you receive from selling them are generous. Right now, that is not the case. Right now, the VIX is trading at near a five-year low. Um, so I, I would not recommend selling covered calls and, and, and selling puts as your main strategy right now. Right now, the best way is to buy volatility. And, and with the volatility so low, if you're using this as a hedge, how far out would somebody buy a contract? I mean, would, would they go out a month, three months? Would you buy a leap on something like this? Um, I, I think that a lot of uh, the VIX calls are based on futures. And the way VIX futures work is um, longer term VIX futures are much more muted in their, in their changes because the thinking is, is that the VIX is a reverting index. It, it doesn't go one, all the way up or all the way down. It, it has a very uh, defined oscillating range between perhaps 10% annual volatility on the low end and upwards of, in 2008, it went up to 80% on the high end. So um, when you're going out long term, um, the, the thinking is, is that it's not going to be at one of those extremes. It's going to revert to the mean. So you don't get much bang for your buck when you go out long term. So with VIX calls, I really think you should stay on the shorter term uh, spectrum side okay. of things. Great. Well, thank you very much for being here. It's been great seeing you. And thank you for watching the moneyshow.com video network.